Okay, this video is meant to show how you should drive when your engine is still cold. In the beginning I have reversed my car in the parking lot when the engine was warm and now I can leave straight forward as soon as I start the engine. So start the engine and start driving. The fuel consumption is highest when the engine is cold. So when the engine is cold, it's most important to try to drive as fuel efficient as possible. In the beginning, the fuel consumption was 9.9 .9 liters and it starts to drop as soon as we get to speed. Now it's 6.6 .6 liter. You should also try to use the other techniques like driving the race line in corners. The clock is now a little bit over four, so there should be plenty of cars on the road, so I need to close the junction very slow, because I know that there will be cars coming in both ways. Next turn will be left after 400 meters. Now it's already dropped to 5 liters. And when I know I will get enough speed for the construction, I will start engine braking as soon as possible. Also try to observe if there is oncoming traffic so you can turn without any slowing down. Now there will be a little uphill, so I need to take some speed for it. And I know there will be a T-junction about 200 meters, so I start to slow down about here. I know that that will be a very, very much cars going there, because everybody's left work. And I will have very big luck if I don't have to stop here. So I have to stop. The Lupo has start and stop system, so as soon as I stop in standstill, the car will stop. And when I release the brake, the car will start and I can start driving again. Now it's 5.2 liters. The next turn is right and I know that I can drive it in 50 km per hour speed if I use the race line. So you can drive corners faster if you take the shortest, shortest route in them. Like that. Now it's already 4.4 liters. Now I will use engine brake here because I know that the next turn will be very tight and there will be lots of traffic also here. Try to see in which pocket you can fit and then start accurate. already warm up, the full consumption will be under 3 liters in my Lupo. And now we just drive normally using push and glide technique. 